hello everyone so in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can write a data warehouse of MS fabric into my SQL server which is on premises server so in the previous two demo if you saw my video that we have successfully fetched the data from stock table with the using of ng rocks and second one with the using of power apps but in this example I am going to use power app again but this time I am going to use bulk insert so it will just in time uploading the data into a write back into SQL server so this is my table stock table which is actually present in MS fabric data warehouse so uh, let me show data warehouse and the data was we have a stock table and then we have a schema like date open high volume and stock like that so uh, and this is my SQL server let me truncate that table so now I don't have any data in my SQL server right so what I did actually uh, I, uh, I am writing a store procedure but I will explain a store procedure later once I am going to explain uh, the part of the power apps and run the application before actually dig down into the coding side or development side so let me go in a power bi and this is my write back bulk write back insert into SQL server so this is my button which is actually using power automate and I am going to click it it's triggering once it's triggered then it will start populating my data into my local database so let me yeah here you go so it's a quick method easy method and efficient method I would say so I am going back in power apps in fact power bi and uh, now I'm going to edit this to show how easy it, it is to make a this type of flow in power automate so it's loading power automate Microsoft power automatic is loading so I have a create a flow with name is bulk insert I'm going to edit this and it's and last time I run this so it succeeded so let me go in edit and show the step by step how we can develop this type of thing in power bi using microsoft power flow automate so we have a button okay and then uh, we have a compose activity where we use power bi data and after that actually i am connected with my local server using data gateway and this is my local server and however I have three more uh, data gateway server if you want to add new connections so you can click here but I already created a local server uh, make a connection with a local server so I don't going to create recreate again but if you want to see or learn how we can create a local server you can refer my previous write back video uh, in the uh, YouTube is available so we actually select data base server name then we have a database name and after that we have uh, our SP name store position name then we have an input parameter which is actually we are going to use the output of compose file so it has all the data in our JSON format actually so this is a part of the JSON site let me show one more time in a how it is going to execute so it's loading so we have a compose and then we have a data in JSON format and it's a huge data set and after that actually it's going to execute our JSON data and then we have a output table output which is actually result set and it's going to again uh, processing our JSON data and insert into uh, 
SQL Server table. So, uh, what it did actually, I create now come back to the SQL Server side. So, what I did, I create a bulk insert uh, uh, SP and then I have a JSON data where N, N varchar max because I don't know the size of the data. So, N varchar max I am using for that purpose and I create a temporary table based on this table schema is almost the same as like we have a json format file so uh, to make a easier one or to make a readable one and then we have insert statement and here we use a select statement with this is a command where which actually we process our json data which we are passing through uh, from uh, power flow or power automate as a parameter so json data is our parameter input parameter so it's parsing this data with the width command once we get fetch all the columns all the data so we are inserting into our temporary table which is result table because we created a temp table result hash table and once we create the table we are inserting our, our stock table so stock table is actually our this table a final table and once we create insert our data all the data of result temp result date, uh, data set into stock table then we are going to drop this table so i hope you understand uh, the basic things so it's a uh, very fast before uh, if you remember before that i uh, in my previous write back example i use y finance 2 but it is taking one by one record using insert one by one row so it's taking time depending on the size but in my case i have a 700 rows around 752 rows so in this case it will take around 10 to 12 minutes but you know this is query taking just uh, just in time so this is an efficient way using gateway you don't need to invest anything like public ip you don't need to invest anything like ngrox so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it will serve your all the problem to how to write back and work with the sql server in an advanced level thank you please do like and comment uh, on this video thank you very much